everybody, welcome to Tucker Newman Coaching. I am Coach Tucker, and today I'm going to teach you about the five stages of projection. Are you projecting? Of course you are. You're a human. What do humans do? We project our own biases onto the world all day. If you don't believe me, go look up what projection means in spiritual circles and you'll come to this realization is like, oh, I'm just projecting, right? And projection really goes in five stages. Real simple stuff, real simple stuff. For, I'll take an example from my own life that's happened so many times. Maybe it's happened to you, right? I meet this girl or I meet a person that I'm interested in having a relationship with. They're perfect. Oh my God, I met this person. They're perfect, right? There's nothing wrong with them. Stage two. Ah, oh no, they're doing things I don't like. <laughs> right? They're doing things I don't like. And this is what projection is. You don't like it because it's something about yourself you don't like. This person is a perfect mirror for you, but you're seeing some things you don't like about yourself, so you project it and you deny it within yourself. I do this. I don't know if you do this, but I definitely do this. And then disappointment. Oh no, like they were perfect, but they're they're not it. I'm out, ah, uh, I'm just, ah. Uh, they were it, they're not it, ah. Uh. Right, and then the hero's journey of self-love, of being a more compassionate person, that's when we gotta transcend this disappointment, because a lot of times we're disappointed, we just go into find a new perfection, right? Find another person, right? Find, and then they're inevitably gonna have imperfections, right? And then, if we really wanna be the courageous hero, we need to recognize it within ourselves. So, this girl, she's perfect. Ah, no, she's not. Ah, damn it. Why don't I see the perfection, right? Oh, what, maybe she does this thing, right, that I don't like. And she's like, you know, she's a little, she's a little bossy, right? She's a little bossy. Ah, maybe I'm a little bossy, right? <laughs> and then there's some grief. It's like, oh, I've lost this image of myself. I've lost this image of her. There's this feeling of loss, sadness. It's like, no. Because this perfection created this love, and the opposite of love on the chart of consciousness is grief. So now we are sad. And that's okay, because we can recognize it within ourselves, because life's not this strictly positive thing. Sometimes, you know, you know, the saying, no rain, no flowers, right? Sometimes there's some sadness, right? And then if we really want to be the true hero of our story, we need to have compassion, Right, we can have so much compassion when we recognize this thing that disappointed us in the other person is something that is really within ourselves, right? When the projection completely falls off, there's like, oh no, that is self growth, right? That is when we start to integrate it into our own being and say, hey, like, ah, oh, like she's perfect, nah, she's too bossy, <laughs> I'm too bossy. In what ways can I work with my bossiness? Where is that coming from? Childhood trauma, so. The compassion opens up the door for growth. And if we really want to grow and, and become who we're meant to become, we need to start integrating all these projections we have on the people. And that's the key to make yourself a better person, right? And so if you really want to transform your life, you got to start here. You got to start, where am I projecting? Where is the perfection? Where is the imperfections? Ha, <laughs> and they, they fall off. So I got to recognize it in myself, have compassion for it, right? And that is how we start creating a more loving, compassionate life for ourselves. And that will emanate energy that attracts more loving, compassionate people who will seem more perfect to us, but inevitably they will not be perfect. So if you like this video, like it, <laughs> leave a comment. If you, if you made it to this point in the video, leave a comment for me and subscribe to the channel. But more importantly, share this video with someone you know is projecting. And if you don't share this video, then I don't know what you're doing because everyone I know is projecting, including myself. So thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have a beautiful, blessed day. Every moment we're here
dark clouds will clear. That's what love.